Hey Sag, welcome back to my channel. I have your August 2021 tarot reading here, your monthly reading. I did put these out a little bit late. I've been just all over the place. So yeah, let's jump right on into your August reading. The energy here, it's very interesting. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna try and interpret it as best as I can. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. If the vibe is right between us, if you feel like we connect and like I channeled your energy good, then subscribe, like your video, all of that good stuff. And yeah, let's start. Okay, so your current self, current energy, this could have been like, you know, ending of July maybe or whenever you currently are watching this, whatever resonates for you, you got the world card. Oh, and guys, I did... I know I haven't been clarifying the cards for majority of my readings, but I decided to pull some cards for you guys because your reading was very interesting. So your current self, you got the world card, okay? And that was clarified by the two of cups and the star card. So this to me is basically telling me that you guys are currently going through a transition when it comes to your... I don't want to say love life but there is a connection here that you guys are coming to an end in there's a journey that's ending here now it could be with a Aquarius okay an Aquarius person and with the two of cups being a relationship card it doesn't mean that it has to be romantic it can be a platonic connection but I'm seeing that there is an ending coming here um, a transition you are moving on to another level something's coming to an end and you are moving forward so that could be this person right here. All right, there's a connection here. Um, you also may be healing as well. This person may be healing you and helping you move forward, okay? The world card isn't a complete ending. This is you transitioning. The journey is going, the journey is ending, quote unquote, but something new is gonna be beginning soon. Then you go back to the fool energy, a new beginning. So there is endings currently going on with you, um, specifically towards a connection that you are in. Now your August energy, I am feeling like it's gonna go by quickly. You got the eight of wands as the theme here and it's clarified by the magician and the three of swords. So to me, I feel like your August is gonna go by very quickly. There's gonna be a lot of communication, a lot of, <laughs> whoops. A lot of things going on here, eight of wands. Some of you guys may be traveling, going on airplanes, quickly moving around um, because the eight of wands is like quick back-to-back -back things. So there could be a lot of things just happening, boom, 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 boom. Um, now with the magician and the three of swords, the, the message that I got from this is basically turning your pain into power, okay? Pain into power. The magician is a manifester and he creates his reality. He creates what he wants. So a lot of you guys may be able to create and manifest a lot of things in August um, and channeling whatever heartbreak you've been through to make that magic happen, especially if you guys are coming to an end within a connection here okay this could be a very spiritual connection um yeah if you guys are currently going through a breakup here um but usually the world isn't a breakup it's usually like engagement or you're you know you're moving from a level to another one so it's a positive growth um but let's say you guys are going through a separation here you can use that heartbreak in august to manifest and make a lot of things happen okay eight of wands speed you know lots of communication and when this is speaking about communication it's not slow kinds of communication this is like quick 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 so i feel like august is going to go fairly quick for you guys and you guys are going to be able to manifest a lot of things and your pain is going to help you manifest things you know now this was very interesting um your key goal in august now you got the four of pentacles so i see sag that you guys are taking your energy back you guys could be setting some boundaries down and just pulling back and not giving people your energy your time your money your love your attention if they're not doing the same okay look how stingy he's being that's kind of the message with the four of pentacles very stingy very um greedy you know doesn't like to share 
And that card was clarified by the Six of Pentacles. So once again, you see give and take, reciprocity, and the King of Swords. So, and I'm sorry for the background noise, guys. Now the message here, like, let me just break it down. Four of Pentacles, not sharing, you know, holding on too tight to your finances, to your money, to the person you're with. Sharing, reciprocity. There's different people, okay? He's giving what he can. He's giving his abundance to whoever needs it. Sharing, okay, equality, fairness. And the King of Swords, I feel like he's not as open. So to me, this is you guys. Your key goal here is to stop giving to people who don't give back to you, where you don't feel that reciprocity where you feel like maybe you're being used and that's why i was saying boundaries you guys may be setting them um and holding that sword up and telling people no that could be a goal for you guys telling people no like you know i give a lot of time to you and you don't give me the time that i deserve so you know what i think it's time that i take that back and i say no to you so I think that's going to be a very big goal for you guys. If that's not in regards to a connection here, that could be in regards to a job, to your career, a co-worker. Maybe you're taking a bunch of hours for somebody and somebody else isn't taking your hours and it's not fair, you know? So it's just all about reciprocity. I feel like you guys are <clears throat> I feel like you guys are going to start keeping your energy to yourselves, not sharing, not being that open person anymore because you guys may be feeling taken for granted a little bit. Um, and just because of all the cards here that talk about relationships, I feel like you guys, there's a big emphasis here on relationships and other people. So I think you're going to be giving people the energy that they're giving you. And some people may not like it, but you're going to be like, okay, and what? I'm being fair here. I'm being just, okay. You want equality here and that's your goal. <clears throat> now, when it comes to your obstacle, this was very interesting to me, and I feel like you guys are definitely staying within a comfort zone here. The Queen of Pentacles is all about her comfort. She's very grounded. Um, but as an obstacle, I feel like you guys are maybe limiting yourself a little bit too much. You got Judgment clarifying her, and then you got the Hermit card. So I do see you guys maybe isolating yourselves and not coming out of your shell, and maybe just not trying to leave your comfort zone, like I said, especially if your key goal here is to stay by yourselves and, you know, not isolate, but, you know, what is the word? I don't want to say greed, but, you know, you're keeping your energy to yourselves. And by doing that, you know, there's nothing wrong with saying no. There's nothing wrong with keeping your energy and protecting that. But it comes to a point where when you're protecting your energy and maybe you're over protecting it, then you don't do certain things because you're not afraid but you know you just got it mixed up um so with that being said a lot of you guys while you're trying to protect your energy and keep to yourselves you may just isolate yourselves and it could be that your judgment is off as well and with that all together um it's just gonna make a mess so just be careful when it comes to keeping to yourselves don't isolate yourselves but definitely keep your boundaries set high and don't let anybody try to knock them down okay but just remain open as well you don't want to limit yourself and just stay stuck because you're comfortable okay because like I said with that coming up with the hermit you may just isolate yourself and become extra extra alone Oh, and let's go with the, let's talk about the signs that are coming up. So like I said, Aquarius is coming up here. We got a air sign male, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. However that resonates, I put these in the wrong place. Um, you got Virgo. And with that queen of pentacles, that could be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, as an obstacle as well, maybe it is a Virgo female for somebody. Maybe that's an obstacle in August. This person is just blocking you from obtaining what you want. Um, we got, oh, here we go. The Emperor, Aries energy. Um, it could be an Aries female coming up here or just Sagittarius, Leo with the Queen of Wands. We got Aries energy again. 
and another air sign aquarius libra gemini so those are all the people the energies that are coming up here so maybe in regards to career maybe that's the person that you are saying no to here you know stop using me um like i said maybe that's the obstacle for you guys that earth sign virgo and maybe that's the aquarius that you guys are finally moving on from now your major accomplishment sag this is really beautiful i think that you guys are going to be um accomplishing some of you guys may be accomplishing a relationship there is a relationship here okay a marriage a commitment that you guys are accomplishing four of wands is happiness and clarifying the four of wands is the five of cups and the six of swords so with these cards here i'm seeing that you guys are moving on from past regret past pain emotional trauma this is certain things that you look back on and you don't you're not happy with how things ended and instead of moving forward you're kind of in this grief state and you're just stuck in the past so i feel like what you guys are accomplishing if you guys are trying to move on from a connection here like i was saying if you guys are trying to move away from things that kept you down and were just emotionally hard for you guys i feel like you're accomplishing moving away from them oops you're accomplishing moving away from that energy okay six of swords moving on for some of you guys you may be accomplishing physically moving overseas you know going farther away traveling is coming up here airplane overseas but for others of you i do see you guys leaving some kind of regret in the past you're finally leaving the past in the past here you're moving on and you're going towards happiness if you are um single and maybe you don't have any prospects i feel like if the four of wands for you guys is just happiness in general but for others of you if you are in a connection um, and you have separated and you are talking to somebody new i feel like you will find a good partnership now sag what you guys need to avoid like i was saying be careful being too you know guarded with yourselves because i feel like there's a lot going on mentally and emotionally for you guys and that's going to affect you um, especially with your mentality and your mental health so what you guys need to avoid is the seven of wands and this person is very vocal they speak their mind they speak their truth they stand their ground but as something to avoid this could be defensive energy you know maybe being in denial now with that as what you need to avoid you got the eight of swords clarifying it and you got the seven of cups now both of these cards are mental if you can see that the seven of cups he's kind of up in his head about things and there's a lot of choices and decisions that he has to make but because things are not that clear to him and he's not seeing the full truth of all these choices and you know what's behind those cups and what's in those cups he can't make a right decision he can't make the proper decision because he's not seeing things for how they truly are and with this eight of swords this person's fears have tied them down and have trapped them and it's all in their head okay so take that how it resonates but for me guys i feel like you guys need to avoid getting up in your head and not seeing things for how they truly are but when you guys are confused and you're not like i was saying and you're not seeing things for how they are maybe fix your ap approach maybe avoid not being overconfident but you know being so stuck in your way and not being able to open your mind up to certain things because you're tied down to a certain idea or to a certain belief does that make sense because if you're not seeing something clear but you're not allowing yourself to be open how are you going to stand with this thought or with this idea with this belief with this ideal does that make sense for you guys um if you guys are defending a point of view, but maybe you are not, maybe you're not in the right mind frame, you know, maybe you're not seeing everything from every angle. That's why I keep going back to this queen of pentacles um, and being too comfortable in a certain, um, in a certain aspect. Uh, you know, maybe if you're not seeing something for how it truly is, just be aware and be cautious of how you communicate especially if you have fear holding you down and if you're not seeing a picture clearly i hope that made sense 
Okay, Sag, now what you guys need to embrace, you're being asked, or you're being not asked, you're being told to embrace that leadership energy with the Aries card here, the Emperor. Embrace that power that you're being given. I feel like you guys are going to be very powerful in August, okay? You have a lot of manifesting power here. You got the magician here as a theme. Like, you guys are going to be able to create a lot, okay? You're finally stepping into this power here. You're saying no to people, but... I feel like there is a little bit of fear holding you guys back and you guys are being asked to just step in your power, okay? Be that leader that you know that you are. Clarifying that emperor is the queen of wands. So once again, there's your energy. Some of you guys need to embrace a Aries female. Others of you guys, I feel like you just need to embrace your energy, that leadership energy. You guys work very hard and um, a lot of you guys have a lot of responsibilities and you know that a lot of people look up to you and they know that you guys are fairly independent um so just embrace that energy you guys know yourself you know your worth you don't have to question anything um and it was funny because when i pulled the seven of wands and the emperor i felt like we got power here but avoid misusing this power here with the seven of wands Okay, we know that you guys have that confidence, but if you guys have overconfidence and maybe you're speaking to people in not the right way and you know, you're kind of stepping on people's toes, but it's because you're not seeing things clearly, that could, you know, that might not be good. But yeah, I feel like you guys have a lot of power. You're very independent. You work hard. Um, try not to burn yourselves out, but embrace that energy. People look up to you. You have the power to work hard and be by yourself you don't need to lean on anybody okay with that ten of wands he's he's achieving a lot and he has a lot of responsibilities and he has a lot of work cut out for him um but just be aware don't isolate yourself um and with the power that you guys have next month just be careful how you are delegating it and how you're using it okay now where you guys can find support um I pulled the Ten of Pentacles here, so definitely family. Now I asked my second deck to clarify which family member this is for you guys, where you can find support, and I got the Emperor and the Empress. So straight up, you guys can find support in your parents, a mother figure and a father figure. Oh, for some of you guys also, embrace a father figure in your life. This person may be helping you when it comes to your obligations and when it comes to all the work that you have on your plate here. So like I was saying, if you guys have a lot of things going on, you have your parents here and you have, um, if it's not your parents, it's definitely somebody older and wiser that you look up to. They can help you when it comes to all of these things and responsibilities that you have on your plate. But yeah, where you can find support in a mother and a father figure, specifically Aries, or this is an older man here, grandfather if it's not a father, and a mother figure. All right, Sag, and the last placement, some advice and encouragement for August. You got the Queen of Swords. I didn't clarify these either. And you got the Six of Swords. So I feel like your advice here is definitely speak your truth with the Queen of Swords. Don't back down from people. Speak your truth. Be honest with them. And with the Six of Swords, guys, as some advice... A lot of you guys need to walk away from certain things. Like I said, I didn't clarify, so just take it how it resonates. If something is not bringing you happiness and joy and it's just constant conflict, it is okay to leave. The Six of Swords is going from the Five, which is verbal conflict, um, and it's just repetitive. So if you guys are unhappy right now in any situation, especially in August, if you're unhappy, it is okay to walk away and to leave. Move on. Find that happiness within. You don't have to stick around in situations that aren't bringing you fulfillment, okay? So I want to thank you guys for coming and viewing your August reading. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in your next one. Thank you so much for watching.